Do you ever wonder what it's like to deal with the worst tenants imaginable? As landlords, we all hope for responsible and respectful tenants, but unfortunately, that's not always the case. In this video, I'm going to share with you five true-to-life stories of the worst renters in the US. So, buckle up and get ready for some shocking and downright hilarious stories of the tenants from hell. Number 1. The Hoarder Tenant Our first story takes us to a rental property in Los Angeles, California, where a tenant began to accumulate an alarming amount of items. The landlord received complaints from neighbors about the clutter and even the fire department had to be called to remove some of the items due to safety concerns. Check out the news coverage video showing the hoarded items spilling out onto the lawn. This is what neighbors in this Los Angeles community have been waiting for. Officials heading into that hoarder house with trash stacked up around it eight feet high to clean it up. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy and everybody was so happy. Especially since this neighbor says she has been complaining to officials in her Koreatown neighborhood for the last 10 years. A spokesperson for the city's attorney's office says the case went to court Tuesday with the homeowner signing off and giving permission for the city crews to get rid of all that garbage. Number 2. The Airbnb Scammer in Chicago Have you ever used Airbnb to book a vacation rental? It's a popular platform that connects travelers with property owners, but have you ever heard of someone using Airbnb to scam their way into a rental unit? In this video, we'll explore the story of an Airbnb scammer in Chicago who left a landlord with a big head. And next to a warning about a growing trend for American families earning extra cash by renting their home on a popular website. Tonight, one woman couldn't get those renters to leave. Here's ABC's Candace Gibson with what you need to know before opening your home to strangers. This is what one California homeowner called a living nightmare. Watch as this couple roams the Santa Cruz house, rummaging through the refrigerator cabinets, the homeowner standing on the side, helpless. Do you feel like a prisoner in your own home? Absolutely. I have eight security cameras in my house right now. 33-year-old Poonam Sandhu renting her master bedroom to this couple through Airbnb last month, weeks into the contract agreeing to transition to a cash-only payment not involving Airbnb. And that's when Sandhu says the payments stopped coming. So I asked them very politely, it's time for you guys to go. And did they go? They did not. Surveillance cameras rolling as the duo is served legal papers, but they refuse to leave. The shirtless male seen creeping throughout the house at night. California law on their side. California law allows the tenant that 30-day notice because they have to find a new place to live. Yeah. And that's uh, expensive. And some tenants have been using that to their advantage. Sandu finally agreeing to pay $1,700.50 to get the pair to leave her own house, figuring it's less than a lengthy eviction process. Nightmare? Absolute nightmare. Worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. Number 3. Drug House of Horrors Landlord ruin after tenant converts rental home into marijuana grow house. Picture this, a rental home, a tenant, and a dream. But what happens when the dream is to convert the rental home into a marijuana grow house? Well, let's just say the landlord's dreams were up in smoke after See this. See the mold and smell it. Walking through this woman's high desert home requires a mask and a strong stomach. She asked we don't use her real name, so we will call her Catherine. The tenant absolutely destroyed the whole house completely. Black mold lines the walls everywhere you look in almost every room. Bags full of discarded cannabis plants litter the floor, along with piles of trash and debris. Blacked out windows, hoses for a watering system, holes drilled in walls for impromptu electrical wiring and a bypass circuit breaker. This home had been turned into a marijuana grow op by her tenant, and they left in a hurry. Oh, sh okay. Spoiled food still stocks the fridge, now home to thousands of insects and an undescribable smell, a putrid cherry on top to an already sickening situation. There are no words to describe it. It's not even a house now. It's a dump site that's just been destroyed. Number 4. Rent Rage It all started with a dispute over unpaid rent between a 22-year-old man and a 71-year-old man. But what happened next was beyond anyone's imagination. Landlord shoved down the stairs by a tenant when he went to collect the rent. That tenant is now under arrest tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang at 115th, 15th Precinct Station House in Jackson Heights. 
The video is so shocking. We will not show the moment his head smashes onto the concrete. We didn't expect this to ever happen. It's like a dream, you know, a nightmare. 71 year old Edgar Moncayo was simply trying to collect rent from one of his tenants Sunday afternoon. We're told the renter had missed at least a month's payment, had given the landlord problems, and was threatening to leave without paying. The house is on 102nd Street in Corona, Queens. The grandson says his grandfather had even reduced the rent from 400 to 200 a month to help the tenant. And there you have it, folks. Geez, what a tough ride. These are stories of the worst renters in the U.S. As landlords, we hope to avoid dealing with these types of tenants, but unfortunately, they do exist. I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe to us here at Green Mountain Real Estate Group LLC for more related content.